Can we close our eyes and meditate? How should we effectively meditate with our eyes closed? Mm. When you start a meditation, you know, you should not start with uh, eyes closed or visualization right away. The, the first method of meditation is based on the solid object. You know, whether it's a stone, whether it's a statue, you know, or it can be it can be on based on the breathing, you know. So first, in order to reach to the absolute state of the meditation, you know, the non-duality state of the meditation, you need to combine together with the more, with the rigid form in the beginning. You know, the first you start with the breathing exercise, your breathing exercise, training your mind. Like I have said last time, you know, when you breathe out, uh, when you breathe out, you know, you simply don't think about where your mind is going or where the air is going, you know, you just simply concentrate, you know, uh, to the air itself. But also the most important is understanding the definition of the concentration. Many people, they think about the concentration a little bit like a very intense mindset, you know. The intense mindset is very beneficial if you are playing sport, if you're going running outside, if you're engaging with other people, you know, and then of course a such concentrated mindset is very much helpful to, to, to overcome your challenges, whether it's a physical challenge, whether it's a mental challenge, you know, it, is, it does help very much. So bringing that kind of a habit into our meditation practice is simply, uh, you know, impossible, you know. So therefore, in order to start the meditation, you need to focus on breathing. When I say focus on the breathing, you're simply being the witness on the air itself. And that is the most important matter. If you think that, you know, oh, where's the air? Where did it went? How did it appear? Where does it dissolve to? You don't have to think about that in the beginning. The most important is you simply focus on the breathing out when you breathe out and simply focusing on your mind towards that. And then when you're breathing in and simply witnessing inseparably together, you know, while you're breathing in. And then repeat like that several times. And then again, take a break. Then again, you know, you breathe out, you breathe in, you know, naturally. But your mind simply being the witness towards that rather than being a judgment towards it, you know. So you don't have to be, uh, uh, you don't have to carry the mindset of trying to analyze every bit of it, you know. So simply being the witness of breathing out and breathing in gently as possible. And then after that, you can focus your mind towards, uh, how do I say, a little bit like a beautiful landscape of the small mountains or focusing your mind into the peak of the mountain or whether you focus your mind into a beautiful flower just simply witnessing it nothing beyond that nothing before that just simply witnessing that you know so that's how you start and then after that then you can simply listen to the sound of the river sound of the waterfall the echo you know not having an imagination where's the waterfall where's the river not having an imagination but rather simply being the witness to the sound itself you know when there's the echo of the sound without having any imagination about the where is the water or i need to get the water or i need to see the waterfall without having any desire of having any glimpse of imagination but simply listening to the echo of the sound and your mind is simply looking and being witness to that uh, and nothing beyond that nothing before that just simply that you know and that's how you train and then slowly after that then you focus into uh, a syllable you know a syllable visualization uh, syllable visualization not uh, it doesn't has to be a six syllable it can be a one syllable like an example our loketeshara uh, syllable you know uh, what do i say uh, with a white you know uh, with a white shri hung all these different syllables and then and then slowly and then the six syllables then it can be eight syllables then it can be ten syllables then it can be the appearance of the deities. 
then it can be the, the, the radiance and transmission and all of that. But first, you have to start with the more concrete. Don't think about closing your eyes and all that. Just focus into more concrete visualize in the meditation method. First, with the external breathing in and breathing out, which is a very something that you can relate to. And then gradually you focus into, you know, uh, this echo of the sound. Then you come back into the visualization, you know, nothing before that, nothing beyond that, then simply witnessing that. And that kind of a mindset is important. But at this, at, but during all these different stages of the training, maybe for some of you, it can take it can take days and weeks, you know. So the better to take much time as possible. At the same time, being in a meditative, meditative, uh, meditative uh, body posture with the sense of discipline, with the sense of awareness, is very important. Not having the judgment towards the losing the awareness either. You know, like if you're saying, that, oh, I got distracted, I'm a terrible practitioner, I'm distracted, I'm a terrible practitioner, then that itself, you know, it may make you feel good by saying that, oh, I got distracted. But if you gossip with your own distraction, that you are being distracted, that itself is a distraction anyway. So instead of being remorse and being saddened and, you know, due to the distraction, instead of gossiping regarding that, you know, whether focusing in that direction, try to resume back into the breathing in and out. 